Chloe Middleton was young, healthy and had everything to live for, but none of that offered any protection against the deadly coronavirus. Her family say Chloe's death should serve as a dire warning to others. Writing on Facebook, her mother Diane said, to all the people out there that think it's just a virus, please think again. This so-called virus has taken the life of my 21-year-old daughter. Chloe's aunt, Emily Mystery, wrote, My beautiful, kind-hearted niece, Chloe, has passed away. She had no underlying health issues. Please, please adhere to government guidelines. The virus isn't spreading. People are spreading the virus. In Chloe's hometown in Buckinghamshire, we found youngsters out skateboarding and trying to keep a safe distance. But one 18-year-old who didn't want to be identified told me he knew others who are simply ignoring the ban. I know a lot of people who are going out, who are not really listening to the news, but they're keeping a distance. So, But staying at home for like three weeks, I don't think it's going to happen for anyone. You're going to get bored. Youth leaders are appealing to youngsters to take the threat of coronavirus seriously. Young people do feel that with them being young, that they might be not as susceptible to it. Um, and my message to them would be just think about others, think about your older family members, even younger siblings or who might have health conditions, because you could potentially just go out and end up being a carrier and passing it on to someone, um, and it could result in unfortunate circumstances. In Northern Ireland, another start warning it's not just the elderly at risk. This is 40-year-old Mark McClurg, a pastor in intensive care. This coronavirus is deadly and it's dangerous. Coronavirus wants to kill you. It wants to take all the life out of your lungs so that you can't even breathe. Mark McClurg is continuing his fight against the disease. Others are losing the battle. The Foreign Office said British diplomat Stephen Dick died from coronavirus in Hungary. Those grieving and those suffering all testify to one thing. Whatever your age or your background, ignore the warnings at your peril. Lisa Holland, Sky News.